We've got Chad from Schimmel Woodworks checking in, La Greca Woodworks, here's Tab Left Workshop, and Pete's Wonderful Works of Wood. Thanks guys, this is really looking cool. And I want to thank Jason Hockett for sending me out this cool keychain that he's hand carved with Woodworking for Mere Mortals logo on it. And I like that kind of version of the logo. It makes it look like, like a Navajo design or something. Very cool. Thanks, Jason. I've got two big supporters I want to mention over on the Patreon page. The first one is Bruce Allen who pledged at the $25 level. Bruce, I'll send you out a t-shirt. I'll get in contact with you so you can pick out whatever one you like. And Clint Wellman who is now the fifth $50 a month sponsor. That is really cool and Clint will talk on the phone or Skype, whatever you wanna do, and you get a t-shirt too. But most of all, I just wanna thank you and everybody else who supports the show over on Patreon. I really appreciate that support. And it's kind of fun to you know be able to post some things from time to time like this week's project. I was able to show that to you early and kind of talk about it a little bit. I like doing things like that. And if I get my Friday videos done early, I like to post them over on Patreon and you guys guys can, I don't know, go over to the YouTube page and you can be the first to write first. I am super excited to finally be able to officially announce this year's Mega Mimo Meetup in Kansas City. Mark your calendars, it's September 26th from 6 o'clock to 10 o'clock p.m. It's at the Gordon Biersch Brewery and Restaurant in the Power and Light District. That's about one mile from where the Woodworking in America show is. So when that show ends at 6 o'clock, you can just walk on over to Gordon Biersch. It's gonna be really cool this year. I've got raffles planned. I'm gonna try to raffle off some of my old projects that I mentioned in my tour of old projects and I'm gonna bring those with me, raffle them off and raise some money for the Make-A-Wish Foundation. I'm gonna see if I can get some companies on board to have some prizes too that they wanna raffle off. Plus, I've got the entire beer garden reserved just for us. So when you get there, you'll see a sign that says Mega Mimo Meetup and they'll give you a wristband. Plus that wristband will also get you a dollar off your first drink. It's gonna be so much fun. It's gonna be a really cool event. I've got more things planned and as I come up with more ideas, I'll let you know more about those. I'll also be setting up a web page, an event page, so you can keep track of everything that's going to be happening. But I hope to see you there. It's a free event. Just show up and have fun. Also, if you're in the Denver area, I'm going to have a mini Mimo meetup on September 5th. It's downtown on 16th Street at the Rock Bottom Brewery. That will also be at 6 o'clock. But I'm not going to reserve a room, I think, for, for that event because I don't think there's going to be that many. Actually, I'd like to know if you can make it to the Denver event, let me know. I'll put a link down below. Please fill out that poll just so I can get an idea of how many people are going to show up because if, it, if it's going to be a lot of people, then I probably should let the restaurant know. Did you guys like the boom box? <laughs> I thought it was I thought this was so clever. You know the the thing is when I got that the trash amps, that's the guys I met at the the maker fair. And I thought it was the, the, the coolest little system ever. And so I thought, well, I'll get one of those and then I'm, what do I do with it? What can I do that's that's woodworking-y? And so my first thought was to make kind of an actual make it look like a boom box, you know, the kind of boom box you used to carry on your shoulders. Or then I had the idea of doing like a retro boom box, which would be like a 50s or 60s style radio. I think that would look really cool. And then that got me thinking what would be really neat to use those trash amps for would be to just get an old radio from Goodwill or some thrift store and just gut it out and just replace it with an MP3 player. I think that'd be really cool. But that's not much of a woodworking project. So it was at that point that Wyatt told me, why don't you make a boom box literally with, you know, the plunger thing. I didn't know what these were called. So I just Googled them and they're like TNT dynamite plungers or something. So this one's kind of a, I, I found a bunch of pictures of them. This one is kind of a combination of some real ones that I saw and the cartoony Acme versions that Wiley E. Coyote was so fond of. So it's sort of a, a, a hybrid version. The most common comments I got on this were suggestions to use the handle to turn the switch on and off. And that was really my first idea. I thought that would be really cool, but then I, I just couldn't figure out a way to do that especially given the amount of time I had to, to build this and make the video. So I just went with the regular switch that, that comes with the kit. But a lot of people left some suggestions that I thought sounded like good ideas. I think you could get just an on-off button switch that goes in the bottom so you push it down and it would 
touch it, I guess. But I don't. I guess you could still carry it though, as long as it was in the up position. A couple of people have this suggestion to use this as a volume control. I thought that was pretty cool also. The best thing about working on projects like this is it's kind of like prop building. You're making something that looks similar to the actual thing but you can use whatever materials you can find. And it really is fun to just go to the hardware store and just find odds and ends that might work for these things. I found these little corner brackets that are for like jewelry boxes, I suppose. And then to find the paint that kind of looks like metal, it was really a lot of fun. And if you're looking for odd little things, always look in the plumbing department. There's always all kinds of weird little things. I think that's where I found this little flange here. The other question I got asked a lot was why isn't this Bluetooth? And well, Trash Amps doesn't have a Bluetooth version. That would be great for MP3, but I think Trash Amps probably started out mainly as a guitar amplifier. And I don't know, if there Bluetooth guitars it would seem unreliable to me if, if there was, but maybe so. So I think that's why they didn't have one. Although on their website, it says that they are working on a Bluetooth version. I know I've got one of these little bitty round Bluetooth speakers and I love the thing. It just, it works great. I listen to my audiobooks on it all the time. And that is this week's update. Thank you all for watching and thank you all for your support. I really appreciate it. And I appreciate you watching Mere Minutes and the other show and everything. It's, I couldn't do all, any of this without you guys watching. So thanks again and I will talk to you next week.